when I come out every day now, I'm going to look for tomatoes that are just starting to turn. And that's it. And I'm going to pull those. I try to leave a little bit of vine and stem on them. And when I store them, I'll, ah, nice, throw them on the ground. When I store them, I'll store them upside down with a bunch of ripe tomatoes around it. And it will ripen within probably three, four days. And it still tastes delicious. So what happens is the, the plant starts sending a hormone to the vines to ripen. And a lot of times it's the same bunch that gets the hormone. So if this was all tomatoes and you had it one on top that was starting to ripen, that hormone is already coursing through that particular vine and you could take the whole branch of uh, tomatoes off and ripen them together. So this one is gonna come, uh, let's see, here. This one is going to come. And this is on the south side. The sun is, is hitting it pretty good over here on this side. That's the other part is if, your tomato, if you want your tomatoes to ripen a little bit sooner, then take off the leaves. There's a lot of leaves that can cover them up. And uh, once you remove the leaves, the sun can get exposed. You know, the tomato can get exposed to the sun. And let's see what else. Oh, we got some more over here. I already did a big harvest uh, the other day. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I love growing them on these trellises. That's the east side. This is the west side. They get sun all day long, basically. And it's south over there. So they, over there, south. So they basically get sun all day long, but they also have that opportunity to shade when the sun is on the other side of the trellis. The wind goes through and because I prune a lot of the bottom leaves off the wind doesn't topple it over whoops oh something tried to get into this one the thing is too when you grow stuff at home you might have some damages like this and you cut around the damaged part you take it off and throw it away and you can use the rest of it you don't have to waste it now this bunch is already starting to ripen on top. This is terrible. So I have two that are starting to ripen here, right here. And that means the hormone is already going through this bunch of tomatoes. I'm gonna take the whole thing, I'm gonna leave them together like they are friends. They're ready to, and of course I didn't get the, the leaves at that time. The harvest goes. Stick them all in my basket. If you forgot to bring a basket out, use your shirt <laughs> or use a hoodie or use something so you can carry it all and not drop it on the ground as you travel. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think? That's not too bad, is it? I'll take you where I where I um, get them going ripened. Actually, I don't know if I have enough room in my boxes. Gotta check. But I'll still I'll put them in the garage because they don't need any more sunshine and they don't need to be exposed to the critters either. And then I'll show you this one cool thing. And then I'm gonna get going to work or to horses and then work. And where'd my cool thing go? Yeah, up here. I was moving the branches yesterday. 
There it is. This is a, an awesome sight. I love it. See that? Tomato hornworm. The parasitic wasps laid a bunch of eggs on it. When those hatch, they go into the hornworm and eat it, and they make more parasitic wasps, which protect the plants. So I don't have to spray any chemicals, and I don't want to because if I do spray chemicals, then that's going to kill the, the wasps up here that are going to do the job of taking care of things for me. So, lovely. Go for it. Go for it. All right, that's all I got for you today. Happy growing. Oh, I know. If you want a garden, <laughs> there is never a bad time to install a garden. To install the garden of your dreams. This might not be your dream. But there's never a bad time to install a garden of your dreams. And I can help you do that. I can help you design it. I can actually design it for you. You tell me what you want, especially if when you're busy. I know you're busy. You tell me what you want, and I'll write it all out. And you approve or disapprove, or we make some changes together. And then I will make build plans, and I will build them to the build plans we decided. And I'll prepare all the soil for you. I can even get you starter plants and get you up and running. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, let me know. That's something I can help you with. And there's never a bad time to install a garden. So let me know.